Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this video we are going to take a look at how I created my kitchen sink sieve. A kitchen sink sieve is a very simple thing and well it's very fun to make. Uh, so let's take a look at how a kitchen sink sieve looks. So this is what a kitchen sink sieve looks like. Uh, it are those small things that you can put inside the drain of your kitchen sink and when something big comes along with the water then it will sieve out this bigger thing. So this is what I wanted to make and uh, I think it's very easy to make such a thing in 1-2-3D design but then the bottom part where all the holes are that's very difficult to make but there is a very simple solution to that so let's take a look in what I did. So here we are in 1-2-3D design and here in 1-2-3D design you see me draw a very simple circle. Uh, I'm going to extrude it and it's going to be 20 millimeters height and it has a width of 4 centimeters because that's the opening of my kitchen sink. Then uh, I'm going to extrude a second circle which is 8 centimeters wide and uh, I do it 5 millimeters in height. And now I'm going to give it some round edges but I'm first going to select the center point of this and I place a second circle there and why I do this well I'll show you later. So now I'm going to give this a little bit of a uh, fillet round and I'll do this also on the other side. So this got the shape of a normal sieve. Then I'm going to uh, make it hollow and it's very easy with the shell command in 1-2-3D design. And now I'm going to use this inner circle to draw a column there. And this column is there so I can create a handle where I can pick up this sieve so I can take it out of the kitchen sink. Uh, then I wanted to make a knob on it and it's just a simple ball and now I have to align the ball on the sieve. And I make a mistake and I do this always so I align the sieve on the ball but then the second time I do it correct. I'm going to place it a little bit to the inside and now I think it looks fine. So now those two are connected, they're not really combined to each other. And in Simplified 3D there is a simple comment that you can give to combine those two pieces together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine those pieces by selecting them both and combine them. And then I'm going to give them a little chamfer so they, well, they're connected as one piece. Now I have this, uh, it's completely okay and I don't have to do anything more with it. So now I'm going to export this file, I'm going to create an SDL file of it and after I made this SDL file which has a completely closed bottom side I'm going to open this file in Simplify 3D. So here we are in Simplify 3D and here I import my model and when I imported this model I'm going to make it a top solid layer of 4, a bottom solid layer of 0. And the reason I do so is because, well, uh, I want to have the, uh, the infill to be the sieve. So I'm going to use the infill as the sieve and I'm going to show you how I do this. But something went wrong because I also had to select the top solid layers. As you can see the bottom solid layers are now gone. So there is a sieve already and that's made out of infill. But then the top solid layers are closing the gaps. So I have to do this again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a second process. And this second process as you can see uh, I'm going to... Well, I'm going to start it at 4 mm height up until the top. And here I'm going to set the bottom and the top solid layers. So it's going to be massive. Then in the first selection, at the first 4 mm, I selected none uh, solid layers. So not for the bottom and not for the top. So there is only infill there. And the infill is creating the structure for my sieve. But now you can see here I have a small problem. And this is because, well, <laughs> there is some, uh, some filament floating in mid-air. And this can't be happening. So I have to go back to my process settings and I have to create some support. But I have to create that support on both processes. So the first process and the second process, because they're both needed. 
and then it creates a nice support structure that supports my complete sieve. So this is what I'm doing to create this part and I think, well, I think it's pretty nice that it works this way. So now I've created this, uh, I want to print it and of course I want to see how it works. Well, I printed it and it really came out very very nice. So let's take a look how it works. And here we are in my kitchen sink. Uh, I placed the sieve inside the opening of the sink and I open the water, uh, the water crane and I even open it uh, a second crane so uh, well the maximum amount of water is now flowing out of the crane and as you can see everything is going dire directly through the sieve so this works really really great and I'm really happy with it so here you see how my sieve works and as you can see the bottom structure which is a very complex structure as you can see here, well, it was very easy to make. I didn't draw it myself. I just made it by selecting uh, the infill structure and the infill made this sieve. So it was a very easy build and well, you can do it yourself. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because I need those subscribers to grow. And also if you want to help out the channel, there are two ways you can support me. The first way is by giving me a one-time donation, by donating me a cup of coffee. And you can do so by clicking in the link in the description down below, where you can send me a little, yeah, a little amount of money uh, on my PayPal. But you can also become a structural Patreon. And Patreons are people that help me every month. So you can give a, a donation on a monthly basis via Patreon. And this really, really helps out the channel a lot because well, my patrons make it possible to do all kinds of nice things with this printer, with other printers I'm going to build and uh, well, with filaments and maybe some other things I'm going to explain in my videos. So if you want to really support me, then become a Patreon or give a one-time donation. And if you already did so, well, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. So this is it for this video. Uh, if you're a subscriber, then you will see there is a next video next week. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.